fantasy stories? Yes, of course. I love. I love. I love them, especially the Harry Potter series, which is full of magic, wizards and witches. You know, Rask and Bond had also written such kind of stories in which they are supernatural characters like witches. You witch? I'm not aware of it. I thought he's an ardent lover of nature. And most of the stories were based on it. Yes, of course, he loves nature. But he has written few books related to horror and hauntings. This horror stories are unique and doesn't build up to the moments of terror. His stories are simple and thoughtful, which unfold human mind relation to the nature and environment. He was inspired by the diverting stories he has read as a child. The master storyteller makes the reader spellbound with the fascination haunt for spirits and ghosts. Wow, that's interesting. What a thrilling experience it would be to watch such a story. Let us experience the captivating story. The scene was set in a pine forest in the outskirts of Shimla. Mr. Oliver, an Anglo-Indian teacher, takes up the duty in the village in a government school. He lives very far from the village and approaches and home broker named Ram to find him a new place. Good morning, children. Did you do homework? Okay, children, let's start our class. A for apple. A for apple. B for ball. B for ball. C for cat. C for cat. D for dog. D for dog. E for elephant. E for elephant. F for fish. F for fish. Okay, children, learn these words. Let's continue the class later. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Ram. Nice to see you. Well. Can you show me the words which we're talking about this morning? Yes, sir. We shall go. They both go to see the house. It gets very late for Oliver to reach his house. There are two paths. The one to the forest is the shortest route. Okay, Mr. Ram, thank you. Now I have to make a move. It's very late, but I take the shortest route today. Sir, please don't take the short route. It is said that grass and spirits roaming in the forest at this hour. Did you ever go that way? No one dares to take that route, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay. See you. The broker leaves and Mr. Oliver didn't take his word seriously and out of curiosity takes the route to the pine forest. Passes to the forest, he could hear a howling wind, the owls hooting, and the bats screaming. But Oliver was not a nervous or imagination man. He kept moving with torch in his hand. 
Suddenly, he hears a weeping sound. When he flashes his torch, he could see a small boy sitting on a rock. Mr. Oliver <laughs> sensed that something was wrong. The boy seemed to be crying with his tongue down. He held his face in his hand and his body shook up convulsively. It was a strange, soundless weeping. The boy did not look up or answer the question. What are you doing here, boy? Well, what's the matter? Tell me the trouble. Come on, boy. You shouldn't be here at this hour. Look up. The boy looked up and Mr. Oliver's face had been changed, giving the way to horror. The boy did not have a face. It was just a round, smooth boy with no eyes, ears, nose, or mouth. Help, help. He stumbled up to the watchman, gasping for breath. I saw something, something horrible. A boy weeping in the forest and he has no face. No face, saw him? No eyes, ears, nose, nothing. The watchman looked up and Mr. Oliver was numb and speechless. He went breathlessly to an old hut. The hut looked so mysterious. He grabbed a long broom placed in the corner of the hut to protect himself from the strange looking creatures. Afterwards, he reaches his home safely without encountering any strange creatures. Later, Mr. Oliver moves to the town, leaving his job. He starts the business of selling old junk goods. He also changes his name as Jaffer. Little did he know that his connection was about to change when he bought a peculiar broomstick from Jaffer's shop in the same town lived a lonely rural. Jaffer, my friend, since when have you been interested in cats? I have never <coughs> seen one before. Is this your hobby? Not at all, Mr. Bond. This cat has been coming here for past few days. She comes in the morning and leaves at the dusk. Another homeless cat. They've been invaded or people in town, haven't they? You should add the one. They're good company. I never cared much for cats. The most obstinate, perverse creatures. But what cats are? Never mind, Kitty. Well, you found something you love to buy today. I've indeed, Martin. The broomstick. The broomstick? I can no longer clean the house with a little broomstick. I have a little problem in my back, you know. You also know that I don't keep servants. Twenty rupees, I'll give you ten rupees and not one paisa more. It's a remarkable broom, Mr. Bond. Just look at it. So full of characters. Fifteen rupees all yours. You drive a hard bargain, my friend, but fifteen rupees it is. As you said, it has a certain character to it. Hello, Mr. Bond. When is your new book coming out? We all been waiting eagerly, you know. Have you ever read any of my books? Of course, The Room Above the Room. Haha, <laughs> that's Room on the Roof. It was the first book that I wrote many moons ago. But you're forgiven, my friend. You're forgiven. We are the monkeys, we are the monkeys, we always get over man. We are the monkeys, we are the monkeys, we always get over man. There we are. That's about as much as I can do. Shoo, shoo. I'll be with you. Shoo, shoo. Better than I, stubborn cat. Ah. Come in. Stay here. Do not move, understand? Now 
listen to me very carefully. I like to be left alone, understand? Is a hot water and glass. Are you alright? Now I've been better. Now I must be going. Do come again. Ha ha ha. Miss Bellows, you forgot your stick. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my house is so messy. Let me clean. Where's my broomstick? Imagine what happened to you. 
once we start accepting the way things start with a calm mind, that fear will fade away and makes us strong and empathic towards courage. To conclude, I learned that courage was not the absence of fear, but triumph over it. The brave man is not he who is afraid of, but he who confronts that fear. Thank you. Did you get scared, friends? I did. I got scared. Did you, did you all get scared, friends? I got scared. Wow, what a mesmerizing performance by Arya Buttons. 